Hi there, welcome to Camping Secrets again. I'm Marky Mark, and today I'm going to be talking about the Thule VeloSpace XT3 bike rack. It's a real beast of a bike rack, huge, long, 135 centimeters in length, so it can take really long wheelbase bicycles, including e bikes, extra large e bikes with 29 inch wheels. That's particularly where it's useful, this, this bike rack. But it is a beast, it's 20.6 kilograms. It's quite heavy to lift, but it's got a few aces up its sleeve. It's a tilting bike rack and it can tilt a long way. So if you've got a camper van, for example, got the Mercedes Marco Polo here, it can tilt enough with the bikes on it so that the tailgate of the camper van can open. And there's only a few three bike, big bike racks that can do this. And the Thule Velo Space XT3 is one of them. So on that side of things, it's an excellent bike rack, but you've got to be able to handle the weight to lift it, to put it on the camper van or on the car. And also you've got to be able to store it. I mean, you can see it takes up a, a, lot, of, a lot of space. This part does fold back the main frame, which the bikes are attached to. It can fold down. And we'll talk you through that in this video. Uh, the depth of the bike rack is 76 centimeters. So it's 76 by 135. So you need space in your garage for that. You could potentially hang it up on the wall, but again, it, it does take some strength to lift. So let's get down to it and see what this bike rack's all about. Okay, so let's talk you through the X-T3. X-T3 stands for three bikes it's capable of carrying. And that's partly why it's so big. You've got to fit three big bikes on here. So first off, you've got this folding frame rail, which lifts up. And actually, when it comes in the box, you've got to fit this on yourself. And it's a little bit fiddly with some bolts in here. So that took about half an hour. So bear that in mind. Once you've lifted it up, you clamp it down with these, with these side clamps here. And that is now really secure. So you can see that the, the rail has three struts on it. And these are removable. So you can literally undo these and they come off. So actually, before you put the bikes on, it's a good idea just to take all these off. And then they can thread through the bike and get attached onto the rail here. So nice design this because you have separate key locks on the end here. When you tighten up the lock, you cannot remove this part from there. So these are nicely secured on there with a key. So as I said before, you've got these three ducts for the three bikes. Uh, so if I'm putting on a heavy bike, I tend to put it on either the one closest to the van or the middle one. Because if you think about it, this is a lever on the tow bar. So if you put your big bike on the furthest one out, it's going to be tending to turn more due to the weight. So I think it's sensible to put the heaviest bikes closest to the camper van. Uh, so we have lights in the back. So there's a standard indicator brake, reversing light on both sides. And then we have a 13 pin electrical connector, which plugs into the camper van electrics or the car electrics. Now with the bikes on here, as I said before, <coughs> we clamp these onto the crossbar. And then also each wheel has an individual strap. Basically these straps thread through the uh, wheel and then clamp in here with a ratchet system and you cannot pull that out. And so that securely tightens the wheels onto the grooves and these tighten the cross onto the crossbar. So your bike it's very stable. Okay, now we're gonna lift the bike rack onto the camper van tow bar. As I said before, it's fairly heavy. So you may want two people to do this. Walking like a crab here, but literally it will just sit on like that. Now, before we tighten that down, you can see it's fairly loose here, but at least it lets you get it on and arranged nicely. So then we have this like handbrake lever here, which is lockable. And this is what secures the bike rack 
to the tow bar and the tow ball. Now what I found here is it doesn't go down very easily when you just have it resting here and you have to play a little bit with the bike rack before it allows you to, I find lifting up this end, lifting this up allows this to press down. There we go. So it takes a little bit of work to get used to the mechanism. But then we have two, two sets of keys here and this can be locked. So not only can you lock the bikes to the bike rack, you can lock the bike rack to the tow ball. So that makes it difficult for thieves to run off of any of this. So then we have the 13 pin socket here. And again, this plugs in to the electrics. Like so. So here we have a big e-bike. It's an extra large Trek Rail 7 with a really long wheelbase. This is 29 inch wheels. It's about the biggest bike you're going to find on the UK market at the moment. And a lot of bike racks will not take this bike. So basically, if this bike fits on the rack, I think any bike will. And this is a heavy bike. It's a 23 kilogram bike. Now the, uh, the Thule Velospace will take up to a combined weight of around 60 kilograms. So you couldn't get three of these on, but you could put two e-bikes on in most cases. And we're a family of three with a 10 year old daughter. So she'd be, be able to get her bike on as well. So let's lift the bike on. We'll go for it on the, on the middle, middle position. So get the straps ready. And then we just lift it on. But these straps need to go through the wheels. So what I tend to do is clamp the crossbar first to secure. So you can see this, this clamp comes onto the crossbar and you tighten it up. Okay, that's pretty secure there. We can take that out and now no one can steal that. So then you've got the wheel straps. Now I have found with these big 29 inch wheels with fairly fat tires, that the strap is only just long enough to clamp in. This is a fixed position of this uh, strap clamp. So we can, we can do it, but it's only just fits. I tend to do it not loose, not tight to start with. I tend to do it not tight to start with and then tighten it once I've got both sides on. So you can see now there isn't much room here to get this in. The only way you can do it is by rocking the bike backwards. To get the room. So that took a bit of work there. It's fairly tricky with such a big bike. But you can see now that we're clamped on the crossbar and each wheel is tightly... Actually, that's not good. So now you can see that it's securely clamped to the bike rack. We have it clamped here on the crossbar tightly. And we have this back wheel tightly clamped and then the front is strapped as well and there's very little movement because so i have used bike racks before as i'm driving along the front wheel swings loose and drops off the bike rack 
So it's very important that these are tightly, tightly attached. Okay. Recording the tilting mechanism. Okay, so now let's get to the, the main part of why this is a great bike rack. Not only does it take huge e-bikes and huge bikes, but it also tilts a long way. So it's quite easy to operate this. There's a foot switch here, which you just step on, and then the bike rack will tilt. And there's two levels of tilt. For this camper van to open, we need to use the most extreme tilt level. So you have these wire, steel wires here which allow the bike rack to tilt without hitting the floor. And there's two positions that this can be attached, giving you different levels of tilt. Either about 45 degrees or this, which is much, you know, probably about 80 degrees. And then the key thing is whether there's enough clearance over this lock here and for this tilted bike rack for the tailgate to open. And in this case, there just about is. Help if I unlock the van. Just about opens enough. <laughs> So it takes a bit of faith that to uh, trust it, but we have practiced. So that will then close. I do like that. And as I say, this Thule Velo Space bike rack is the only bike rack I've found in the UK at the moment that will take this size of bike and tilt enough for a camper van door to open. So what do we make of this bike rack, the Thule Velo Space XT3? All in all, for use with a camper van and a large family with big bikes, I think it's an excellent bike rack. The big downside is the weight of it, 20.6 kilograms. It's quite a beast to move around and just to attach to the, to the tow bar. But you only do that once per holiday, really. This would likely stay on your camper van for the whole of your holiday. So from that side of things, if two of you can do it, I can do it on my own just about, but with two of you, it's, it, it's simple to attach. And then it's storage space in your garage or whatever. It is quite a big thing. The rail does fold down, but it's in nowhere near as compact as the Velo Fold XT3, which is a brilliant design. It just doesn't tilt as far. And, and this one does tilt. It's got a really large range of tilt. And that makes it a really practical bike rack. It's, it's got all the space you need. It will take three bikes comfortably. And you've got the security of the lock, locking mechanism and the lock to the tow bar. So all in all, we really rate this highly and would recommend it. Give it the Camping Secrets thumbs up. So thanks for watching. Um, I've been Mark from Camping Secrets. And be sure to check out all our new videos on our reviews and tips for outdoor and camping life. We're real enthusiasts for this. And I even bought a new microphone for this video to give better sound quality because some of the old videos weren't so good in that department. I hope it's improved. Anyway, great speaking and see you soon. Bye.